No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. It's time to fight. They're striking at our very core, my friends. When a legislature like this goes after collective bargaining, they don't mean to just weaken. They mean to kill. And it's time for the folks in Arizona to stand up and fight. The Machinist Union is here today with you, the fighting machinists, to fight against this tyranny that's going on behind here. We all have to get out and talk to our neighbors and our friends and our family, my, my brothers and sisters. What time is it? What time is it? Time to fight! My friends, we can win. This is not about our public servants and what they get paid. What this is about is Wall Street fat cats that caused a recession that makes us suffer. We have to put the blame where it belongs on big fat cat CEOs and Wall Street. They caused this problem, right? Are you ready to fight? When are we gonna fight? We're gonna turn these guys out in November. Just remember, when it comes to election, that's the time of retribution. And we have to remember every single one of these folks that turned their back and made working men and women the scapegoats for this crisis. They're attacking services and they're attacking people that take care of you and I. It's time to fight! Thank you, brothers and sisters. This is better for the pleasure to be here, but most importantly, we're here to give our support at 100% to the public employees unions of this state, the ones that are going to be affected by what the people in these two buildings are doing in the middle building behind me. We cannot let this happen. Some of the unions that will be the biggest affected unions of some of this legislation seems there's other ways of handling it. I disagree. We do it here, we do it in the ballot boxes. And we get these people that are not behind us out of office. The only side deals that we're going to cut is vote their ass out. I want to thank, there are some in the crowd here because I noticed them as I was walking up here. Our friends that are in the Senate and our friends that are in the House, we know what battles they go to every day especially with the supermajority status, but they're still fighting it, and if they can fight it, we certainly can fight it too. People have asked, what are the steel workers having in this fight? We know that what happens to the public employees will then trickle down and follow to us, and we're not gonna let it happen. We've seen it in Wisconsin, we've seen it in Michigan, we've seen it in in Indiana, and we certainly want to stop it here in Arizona. Thank you, brothers and sisters. We must never forget why we're here. How many in here have voted in the last election? Never, ever forget what is going on here. Not only here, but all across the United States of America. This is our country. Your, your mothers and fathers, grandfathers and grandfathers have worked hard to get to where we are today in the labor movement. It is, it is your right, your obligation to preserve this for the future, for your children and your grandchildren. Yes, there are people here that this won't affect today. They're going across the board, brothers and sisters. We must fight every fight, every single day. Educate your neighbors, your friends, your children. Brothers and sisters, this is about your children. This is about your grandchildren. Never forget it. We need to preserve the labor movement so that they can live in a middle-class America with the future, where they can go to school and have an education. I will just end with this, brothers and sisters. 
As um, the Greek philosopher Plato said, those who are those who are too smart to engage in politics will be ruled by dumber people. This is what's happening here today. We need to prevent that. Get out and vote. Thank you. The public employee is well aware of the fact that he doesn't make a lot of money. But he knows a couple things. There's a chorus here, so say it with me. Because of unions. That's the chorus. Say it with me. Because of unions. Because of unions, he knows he won't be fired due to any political, religious, or fashion beliefs. Say it with me. Because of unions. He knows he has security from mistreatment by his employer through due process. Say it with me. Because of unions. He knows he has some stability for himself and his family. Say it with me. Because of unions. He knows that retirement is a real possibility. Say it with me. Most importantly, he knows how to vote, and he does. Senators and representatives, that pendulum swings both ways. These four bills are an attack on public service workers and are not fair to our communities, our neighbors, or to the working families that are targeted by them. Using public service workers to score political points harms everyone in Arizona. So to our legislature, stop the silliness. Start doing what we elected you to do. Fix real problems, create jobs, fund education, restore Arizona's reputation. Brothers and sisters, please don't let public unions be the first domino to fall. Thank you. You've come down here. You filled out your postcards, yes? Yes. There's the boxes. Did you call union members? Yes. Did you go see your representatives? Yes. What are you gonna do when you leave here? You gonna stay engaged? Yes. You gonna tell the union members you work with how important it is to be connected down here and to tell the elected leaders here what's necessary and right for Arizona, not the political agenda of the Goldwater Institute and Alley but the workers' and communities' political agenda. You can boo Goldwater, go ahead. Ooh, no, oh, a little hissy too, very, very good. No justice, no peace. 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 No justice, no peace.